The story of humanity is not merely the journey of Homo sapiens, but rather a mosaic of intertwined evolutionary branches, some that vanished entirely and others that blended into our blood. Among them, the Denisovans stand out as the strangest and most mysterious, a close relative once completely forgotten by mankind. No stone statues, no grand archaeological sites, no distinctive tools displayed in museums ever bore their name. The Denisovans emerged into the light of science humbly from a tiny fragment of a finger bone discovered in 2010 deep within the icy Altai mountains of Siberia inside Denisova cave. Initially, archaeologists paid little attention to the bone until they sequenced its DNA. The results shocked the world. This genetic code did not belong to Homo sapiens, nor did it match the Neanderthals. It was from an entirely different lineage of ancient humans, previously unknown to science. And so the name Denisovan was born taken from the cave where their remains were unearthed. Yet while the name is relatively new, the Denisovans themselves have a long history in our evolutionary past. Based on genetic analysis and fossilized teeth, scientists estimate that they lived between 400,000 and 30,000 years ago, existing in parallel with both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, but following a completely separate evolutionary path. They roamed across vast regions of Asia, from the frozen expanse of Siberia to the tropical forests of Southeast Asia, and perhaps even beyond into lands still unexplored, Unlike the Neanderthals who left behind a rich archaeological footprint, the Denisovans seem to retreat into the shadows of history. They left behind very few fossils, nearly no discernible tools and not a single known cave painting, but they did leave behind one undeniable legacy DNA. And the wonder is this Denisovan DNA does not lie dormant in the earth. It lives on actively in the bodies of millions of modern humans today, especially those in Asia and the Pacific. They are biological shadows, evolutionary memories not told in words but written in code. The Denisovans were forgotten for tens of thousands of years, but thanks to modern genetic science they are beginning to re-emerge, not through bones but through the living fragments of their genome carried within us. Though their fossils are rare and faint, what the Denisovans left behind in modern human bodies are remarkably intricate and astonishing biological fragments. Unlike the Neanderthals whose genetic legacy influences skin hair and immune responses, Denisovan DNA is tied to highly specialized adaptations to extreme environments. These aren't dormant sequences. They're evolutionary tools that helped humans push past their biological limits. One of the most striking examples is the EPAS, one gene found in the genomes of modern Tibetans. This gene enables their blood cells to carry oxygen more efficiently in thin air, allowing them to thrive at elevations over 13,000 feet, where most people would suffer dizziness, breathlessness, or even death from oxygen deprivation. What's shocking is that EPAS-1 doesn't appear in Neanderthals, nor in most populations worldwide. It sources the Denisovans. This suggests not only that Denisovans once lived at high altitudes, but that their genomes had evolved to survive in such extreme conditions, and that evolution passed on a powerful biological gift to their hybrid descendants. And EPAS-1 is just the tip of the iceberg. Other Denisovan-derived genes found in modern humans are linked to immune strength metabolism, insulin regulation, response to sunlight and circadian rhythms. These traits suggest that Denisovans once lived in a wide range of environments from dry freezing highlands to humid sun-drenched tropics and their genetic toolkit evolved to meet those diverse challenges. When these genes entered Homo sapiens through interbreeding, they didn't just survive, they continued to function in new environments. Figuratively speaking, Denisovan DNA acts as a specialized genetic toolkit that nature accidentally handed to Homo sapiens at the right time and place. As modern humans expanded across Asia and Oceania, they encountered the Denisovans. And in those undocumented prehistoric encounters, they inherited a powerful legacy from their now extinct companions. What's most remarkable is that these genes are not just preserved, they are still active. They are not dormant fossils of ancient biology. They are transcribed. They build proteins. They influence how we live, breathe and survive today. This is not memory. This is inherited life. If the Denisovans had a spiritual homeland in the modern world, it wouldn't be where their remains were unearthed. 
not Siberia, not Tibet, but Luzon, Papua New Guinea. Borneo and the island chains of Melanesia scattered across the tropical Pacific. In these places, no caves bear Denisovan handprints. No stone tools have ever been definitively attributed to them. And yet the people who live in these lands carry the most compelling evidence that Denisovans existed and that they left an undeniable biological imprint. When geneticists sequenced the genomes of indigenous peoples in the region, they uncovered startling numbers. Melanesians, Eta Magbukon, Philippines, and many groups in Indonesia carry between 3 and over 5% Denisovan DNA. These numbers surpass even the Neanderthal DNA found in Europeans, which averages around 2%. The Aita Magbukon people in particular hold the highest known level of Denisovan ancestry, making the Philippines the beating heart of a lineage long believed extinct. What makes this discovery even more remarkable is that these Denisovan genes aren't relics, they're active functioning sequences that directly influence modern human biology. They've been preserved for tens of thousands of years, not by accident, but because they offered advantages. In tropical climates with unpredictable food supplies, Intense sunlight and endemic diseases, Denisovan genes related to metabolism, immunity and light response may have helped modern human descendants adapt and continue to be selected for across generations. This means the Denisovans didn't just pass through, they likely lived in these southern regions for extended periods possibly coexisting with early Homo sapiens during the initial waves out of Africa. The encounters between the two species weren't fleeting, they may have stretched across generations and geographies shaping a hybrid genetic heritage not recorded in tools or art but in blood and DNA. That is what makes Southeast Asia and Melanesia a uniquely vital center in the story of human evolution, not just the regions with the most Denisovan DNA, but living proof of a chapter never written. The people living on these islands today, from the mountains of Papua to the shores of the Philippines carry a legacy the rest of the world is only beginning to understand. In each of their cells lies a history and each strand of DNA, a prehistoric memory, proof that some ancestral stories are not found in books but written in the living human body. As genetic studies delve deeper into individual DNA fragments, a surprising hypothesis began to emerge. The Denisovans were not a single unified group, but rather a collection of distinct sub-branches spread across the vast expanse of Asia and Oceania. What was once considered a species may have actually been a diverse population evolving independently in different regions from frigid Siberia to the tropical islands of New Guinea. Genetic differences in Denisovan DNA between Melanesians and East Asians support this idea. A 2019 study from the Broad Institute, MIT and Harvard revealed that at least three distinct Denisovan lineages had interbred with Homo sapiens, each leaving a unique signature in separate modern human populations. This suggests that ancient humans in the Philippines and those in Tibet encountered entirely different Denisovan groups. Strikingly, most of these Denisovan branches have left behind no confirmed fossils, leaving scientists almost completely blind to what they looked like or how they lived. Denisovans, therefore, are more like a biological shadow, recognized not through bones or tools, but through the scattered genetic traces that still reside in the living. We don't know how they looked, what language they spoke, or what culture they followed, but we do know they existed. They left a mark, and they helped reshape the course of human evolution. Denisovans were once ghosts in the record of a history, a nameless, voiceless people with no tools, no art, no name in the textbooks. But now through the surviving strands of ancient DNA, they are beginning to tell a story that conventional history had long overlooked. And that story demands a rewrite of our evolutionary map. Genetic evidence reveals that the rise of modern humans was neither linear nor solitary. It was a complex web of interactions between different hominin groups encounters, interbreeding and genetic merging blending into one another like rivers converging. The Denisovans didn't merely coexist with Homo sapiens, they became part of us. Their DNA is not a relic, it is a living thread woven into the very architecture of our species. And if genes are memory, then the isolated island communities that carry Denisovan ancestry are living archives of stories the rest of humanity has yet to read. They do not simply live with this legacy, they are that legacy. 
In today's rapidly globalizing, assimilating and urbanizing world, a profound question arises. Do we have a responsibility to protect those who carry this biological memory when heritage no longer resides in museums but flows through the blood of living people? Preservation becomes more than archaeology, it becomes an ethical and cultural choice. The Denisovans were forgotten by history once. Will we let that happen again or will we finally listen to the last echoes of their voice still whispering through the cells of those often overlooked by the modern world?